So, yes, I got a haircut, but I'm not letting you horsey it. Okay, hey you guys, excuse my mess of an apartment, but today is an exciting day in the kingdom. I am finally getting my post quarantine, my first post quarantine haircut. And I'm so excited. I haven't had a haircut in th four months now, maybe I think. So these are exciting days and times ahead, so. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even have any gas. I don't care. I would I would crawl there barefoot. Let me show you where nobody child over. Barefoot on broken glass right now to get a haircut. And I'm not even joking with you guys. Hey, yeah, I just needed a haircut, like maybe like a like a little bit off the top, like a trim. Yeah, I could give you a haircut. Yeah. I'm a big off barber. No, no, just like a trim. Yeah. Just a little bit off the top. Yeah, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Just sit down in the chair. Well, okay, but, you know, I just want like a little bit off the sides, like a trim. Yeah, I'll cut you real nice. Yeah, okay. Ah, my head. You want a magic mold flow gold carved in your throat? Ah, my hand slipped. Now you look just like Bobito. It's not me, bro. These scissors are messed up. Rust is shut. Let me oil up the clippers. I'll It's me and my new haircut. I am so excited. No, wait, wait. Let me, you guys gotta, gotta check this bitch out. Look how fucking cool this haircut is, you guys. Oh yeah. This is so awesome. I am so excited to finally have gotten a haircut, you guys. Like I said, this is my first post quarantine haircut. It's been a couple of months, so I was looking a little scraggly, but I'm really, really glad that I was able to get this super cool fade and get trimmed up so I can, Jesus Christ, at least look like I'm trying to a, a attractive, you know, normally functioning human being, but it is what it is. Let me tell you, I don't know why I keep on coming back to this car wash. Every time I come back, then I act up every goddamn time and every time I come back. So I just must be asking for it. Yeah, you will ever dream that the dream is ever dream. You're the general in a gay flight to Lee's. Yeah, we're your queen who fights the machine. And I know I star who shiny turn and lead light. Taste for the girl who walked down the wrong road. Who's friends from elementary parents pretend they don't know. When they see it had to mark, the eyes stay down as they walk. Cause if they die, we'll follow suit. If they acknowledge your radar, catch rebellion through a cough. They become used who cannot talk. Of course, they feel bad, but the choices aren't too far. But maybe the choices were never really her choices. Maybe they were her swearing that she never gave me voices that she fought. Who she wanted both. Boys and girls cause she wouldn't let her mother's old boyfriend looks like a pretty clean car wash to me they didn't do too bad of a job one way your love drops the rain upon the sun crack the hole you are a hey, flower so beautiful to be oh you are what so Guys, so I bought a Kylie Cosmetics product and I'm nervous about it. I, I don't know if I'm excited yet. We're gonna, it's, it's, I don't know. We're gonna see, we're gonna see, but I'm excited. Oh my God, am I even in the right fucking parking lane? Jesus Christ, where's my car? Oh yeah, there it is, okay. Okay, you guys, so I went to Ulta today and I got a product which if you have seen my Makeup for Straight Guys video, this is a product by somebody who I said I wasn't really too keen on the product, so I hadn't gotten one yet, but I went ahead and I got a Kylie lip kit. I just really felt like I needed something to cover my lips because when I would kind of put the rest of my fun little makeup products on, I just felt like my lips just were standing out because they just were imperfect and the rest of my face was 
flawless. So I started putting that KKW Beauty contour stick on it because I saw that Kim had said in a couple of videos that you could put that on as like lipstick or whatever to cover your lips. But you guys, it, it made my lips break out. Like it literally made my lips break out. KKW Beauty made my lips break out, okay? So that was, was n a nightmare. It was a fucking nightmare and it happened twice. It happened, I thought maybe the first time that was just coincidental. So I had to wait for it to fucking heal. And then the second time I did it again and fucking broke out again, okay? So don't ever put that product on your lips, you guys, seriously. But now I have the fucking scarring from the breakouts and all of that. So I just really need something to cover my lips. So I went ahead and I got the Kylie Lip Kit. I got it in the shade. Kylie, because this looked really, really close to the natural shading of my lips. So I thought this would be the best one to go ahead and give it a try. It's matte, you guys know I only use matte products. Okay, so I want you guys to really get to kind of see my lips beforehand. You guys can kind of see um, the scarring and just the kind of like discoloration in my lips that I kind of want to cover up. Okay, hey you guys, I'm back. I filled in my lips with the lip liner and I applied a very light amount of the matte lip gloss because like I said, I'm just trying to cover up some of those scars and discoloration and blemishes and imperfections that I just don't really like and want to be seen on my face. I think this did a really good job. I think this was really close to the natural shade of my lips, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm so excited that I finally got to get some Kylie Cosmetics because we all know how much I love Kylie Jenner. All right, you guys, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and coming along while I ran a few errands and you got to kind of just see the little bit, little bit of the craziness that is sometimes my day. If you guys haven't already, I hope you will all take a chance to check out the two videos that I did over on Peter Madrigal's YouTube live channel this week. We had a lot of fun over on Peter's channel, you guys. We did a really cool one-on-one -on -one interview, which got kind of personal, where we talked about gay pride, the pride celebrations, or the lack thereof this year, and the way they've affected not only West Hollywood's LGBTQ plus community, but the community in the nation as a whole. So that was really, really awesome. I shared a lot about myself. I got to know a little bit about Peter too, and we had a really great time. And yesterday was Peter's hump day show, and I popped back in really quick for a little, hey girl, hey, so what's up to the kids? Had a quick little kiki, all right? And that was a lot of fun, you guys. We were twerking, we were acting crazy. Throw that ass in a circle. Throw that ass in a circle. All right, you guys. So we had a lot of fun this week. It's all out there on my channel, on Peter's channel, on my Instagram. I'll put all the links below. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram so you never miss out on the tea. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.